Alan Bleasdale continues his exploration of life on modern Merseyside in a new series of plays, Boys from the Black Stuff. It starts on BBC Two early in October. Tomorrow night marks the end of BBC One's week celebrating 60 BBC years. And those radio times at 25 past nine revives memories of the wireless in the days before television began to creep into superiority at the time of the coronation. And a little later, Ned Sherrin introduces a review of the year 1962 as seen by the team of that pioneering television satire show, That Was the Week That Was. That was 20 years ago. That was tomorrow night at 10 to 11. Also from two decades ago, before the weather on BBC One, a short interlude. Another interlude from about that same period, the early 1960s, at about five to one this Friday lunchtime. Well, after the weather of the last few days, restored briefly from the gloom today, it may be tempting Providence to ask Michael Fish for the holiday weather prospects. Good evening to you. If you're off on holiday this weekend, it looks as if there'll be a good deal of dry, warm and sunny weather to be found. Actually, it may well turn out that the weather here in the southern parts is a good deal better than in some of the more popular resorts of the Mediterranean. But more about that in a minute. As far as this country goes, we're going to have this area of high pressure with us for the next couple of days at least, and that should ensure that southern areas stay dry with a reasonable amount of sunshine, as I said. The, this area of low pressure and these frontal systems, though, are on their way, and they're going to produce some cloud and rain in Scotland and Northern Ireland and during the course of the night and keep that area tomorrow rather breezy with some further cloud and little bits of rain around and then eventually this cold front way out to the west will creep down across the country throughout the weekend so I think even in southern areas before the weekend's over it will turn cooler and then those areas join the north with uh, some sort of showery rain from time to time but that's uh, a long way off let's look at the picture for midday tomorrow when you can see the process beginning with the frontal systems moving into Scotland and Northern Ireland but a good ridge holding in the south. As far as the weather goes, those, those fronts will bring some cloud and rain into Scotland and Northern Ireland, perhaps the border counties of England before the night's out, but for the rest of the country, fine, dry, rather chilly and misty. And then tomorrow in Scotland, Northern Ireland and once again those border counties, starting off cloudy, some rain here and there possibly, but I think in many places during the course of the day the rain should uh, tend to die away and then in the more sheltered spots the weather will brighten up too, perhaps with a little bit of sunshine, although in the north and west of Scotland especially it'll stay fairly cloudy and breezy with some rain every now and again. For the bulk of England and Wales though, a dry day, a good deal of sunshine and ending up uh, pretty warm, warmer than today if anything, 22 centigrade being 72 Fahrenheit. And then to look a little bit further ahead field, well over the weekend as I said we're going to find eventually that cooler weather with some showers working its way down across the British Isles but it will be late on Sunday before it arrives in the southeastern corner. Scandinavia not particularly warm and settled, some showers around there but for the bulk of Europe and the eastern Mediterranean a good deal of sunshine and very warm indeed. The area that won't be quite so settled is uh, or are some of the more popular resorts that's around the western area of the Mediterranean, the Riviera, the Costa Brava, Mallorca, that sort of area where it will be often rather cloudy with some outbreaks of thundery rain. Well, that's all. A very good night to you. Now, it's very nearly 12 minutes past midnight. And uh, here's where we part company on BBC One, although Radio Two uh, carries on throughout the night. BBC One is back in the morning at 20 past nine. But from us now at the BBC Television Centre, it's good night. <laughs>